Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use layer masks. This is the image I'm going to be working with today, and I'm just going to make a quick adjustment so that we can see what changes we're making with a layer mask. I'm just going to grab a dark red color, hit OK, and put this in soft light blend mode, just so we can kind of see a big difference. We go from light and airy and green to kind of dark and moody and red, so it'll be a nice change for our layer mask here. Um, so to make your adjustments here with your layer mask, you're going to want to select it first. So just make sure that the selection is around the layer mask. If you're working with a texture or an overlay or something that does not have this layer mask here already, you can come down here to this little layer mask button, click it, and then it will pop up right here on your layer. So this layer mask kind of acts like a window to whatever is on this layer. And in this case, this layer is a reddish brown uh, tone to our image. So this white layer mask means that that reddish brown tone is being shown over the entire image. Our window is open, so to speak. So if you wanted to remove it from any portion of the image, you would want to close that window. And how we do that is with the opposite color. It's set to white, so we're going to do black to remove it. Okay, so then we're just going to, I have my opacity set to 38. I'm going to put it up to 100 just so we can kind of see the big change here. And so you can see that you can paint it off. Um, you know, obviously this doesn't look good. It's just a kind of quick adjustment. But this, um, a layer mask is really great for making kind of refined adjustments here, especially when you're close to an edge or you really want to be careful with, you know, selecting or something like that. You want to make sure that instead of erasing um, the layer that you're working on, which means you can't really come back from it later on, um, with a layer mask you can you know always come back you just grab that layer mask and you flip it to the opposite color if you realized you made a mistake and then you can just paint it back on anywhere that you want it. Um, now let's say that you wanted to do this kind of um, a little bit softer obviously um, you could delete this layer mask here and we'll add a new one and then um, we can take our black brush again, put our opacity down a little bit lower so it's a little more subtle, and you could use this to paint this tone. Let's say that you liked the reddish tone. You can paint it off of her face so that it's not as distracting or, um, you know, not as unsightly as bright red skin is. So we'll just take it off of here, and that makes it a little bit more of a subtle edit and a little bit more natural just by taking it off those spots. We still have the change, but it's just not quite as drastic in the areas that we paint it off of. Um, and if you wanted to do this in reverse, let's say that you, you you liked the image just like this, but maybe you wanted to paint that reddish tone only in a certain area, you could um, just take this layer mask, we'll delete this one, and I'll add a new one to show you again. We'll add our layer mask, and then you can come in here and you can hit Control or Command I on your keyboard, or you could come over here to your paint bucket tool, set your color to black, and make sure that your layer mask is selected, and then just click on your image and it will fill it. Uh, the layer mask with black again. So here is our original image, no changes made, and with this black layer mask this reddish tone is completely hidden from the image. So we're going to flip our color to white and then we can paint, let's do it at 100% opacity again just so we can kind of see, um, and just paint it anywhere that you know you maybe wanted it. And this is really great for just small adjustments. Maybe you have a sharpening layer but you only want it to affect the eyes or something like that. It's easier to flip the color to black and only paint it in that small area that you want it instead of having it over everything and then you have to paint it off of the entire image except for where you want it. Um, so yes, you can use this for sharpening. You could use this for composites as a way to kind of help you later on if you realize, oh no, you know, this part of the image doesn't look so natural, you can zoom in here, make sure that your layer mask is selected, and then add that color back in or, you know, whatever adjustment it is that you're making. And you can do this later on, even after you have more adjustments made, you can always come back to this layer mask here and just fix it up a bit or tweak it as necessary. So that is a little bit about how to use layer masks. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much. Have a great day.